This is Crystal Racing with a review the next day after the Japanese Grand Prix. And of course, Max Verstappen was back to winning ways. It's an ace star from me. Not much else to say. Singapore was a blip. But as for teammate Sergio Perez, he is now officially disqualified with a crystal score after, of course, um... Whacking a driver and then, of course, whacking into Magnussen late, um, pretty much within the first 20 laps. And to be honest, he's actually become worse as the car has become better in his time at Red Bull, which is really poor, if we're going to be honest, because truth be told, you know, he, he was better in the first half of 2022 when. Ferrari arguably had the faster car, but Perez and Perez was actually winning races and a championship contender. But now that the Red Bull is working really well and his balls ahead of everyone else's car, he's just nowhere to be seen. Next up, it's McLaren, Norris and Piastri, second and third. Got to give them a pair of A grades, and as for Piastri, Superb performance, getting second in qualifying. Couldn't keep it up in the race, but he is one to look out for. Next up, it is the, Fer the Ferrari drivers. Leclerc and Sides, I think. I think, you know, Leclerc finished fourth and Sides finished sixth. I'll give them a pair of B grades because, to be honest, Ferrari or that sort of team who will never really get the bit between their teeth. I think this is more of an average weekend for them compared to what Singapore was like. But Leclerc was back on top. Really inconsistent, those two drivers, to be honest. Mercedes, Hamilton 5th, Russell 7th. I'll also give them a B grade because, to be honest... Well, frankly, no one really could live with Red Bull or McLaren this weekend. Eighth place, Fernando Alonso. I'll give him a C grade. Decent enough performance, but of course his teammate is Lance Stroll. And Lance Stroll is just, well, he's disqualified. He retired from the race. At least I'll say one thing about Lance Stroll. And that is, he kept his coin between the white lines before he retired. So I suppose that's an improvement. Um... Ninth and 10th, Ocon or Gasly, Alpine, had an okay weekend. I'll give them a pair of C grades, of course. Gasly was angry and irritated at having to give ninth place back to Ocon. Oh, God, I'm, I already want Gasly to leave Alpine. I'm already fed up with seeing him there. It's just so painful, to be honest. Um... Of course, next up is the Alvatore boys in 11 and 12. Yuki Sonoda and Liam Lawson was it? Oh no, Lawson finished 11th and Sonoda was 12th, I beg your pardon. It's a C grade for both of them. I mean, let's face it, I feel quite sorry for Lawson not driving for them next year. But then, of course, there are some people who have said he's a jerk from what he behaved like in DTM. So, you know... I don't really know what else to say about those two, but it does feel like Alvatore just blew his weekend. Could have got some points, but just didn't have the race pace. And then, of course, after that, 13th place, Joe Guan Yu, and, of course, Bottas. Well, Bottas whacked into um, Albin at the start of the race, and then he spun a few laps later on, saying he, the car wasn't drivable. Well... That's kind of your fault, Bottas, for whacking into Alburn. And frankly, you are now you are now one more bad performance away from a disqualification. Whilst Joe gets a C for his performance, because frankly, he did his usual anonymous act. Just okay, race doesn't really seem to do anything amazing. And frankly, I don't even know why on earth. He, you know, I suppose apparently there's people at the Chinese Communist Party who still believe Joe has got potential. And then, of course, 14th and 15th is the horse drivers. I'll give them a C grade. Magnuson had his race ruined when he got whacked into by Perez. Hulkenberg, I mean, 
I think he hit someone as well, so frankly, Hawes never stood a chance, and of course, with the usual Hawes tire degradation. Look, I don't even know what's the point of Hawes anymore, but I will say, as for the retirees, of course, Alban and Sargent, I don't know what Alban retired with, but he was never looking like he was going to score points, and as for Sargent, well, he's already disqualified, crashed his car out in qualifying, and frankly, well... God, honestly, this is honestly the worst grid of drivers I've seen that have been around surely since 2000. There's just so many poor drivers on this grid right now that if Formula One restricted their calendar to just races in Europe, Middle East, and North Africa, I'm pretty sure Kimi Raikkonen and Sebastian Vettel would probably still be racing, and frankly, they would do a much better job than some of these drivers. The other retirees also include, I'm trying to remember now, oh yeah, Lance Stroll, already talked about him, don't care. And of course, um, Perez and Bottas, <laughs> absolute puh. Perez is qualified, Bottas gets an F grade for just being useless, and that's all I've got to say really, thank you for watching, over and out.